Lozen, the younger sibling of the renowned Apache leader Victorio, was a proficient warrior, spiritual healer, and visionary among the Chihene Chiricahua Apache tribe. Lozen was born around 1840 in Apacheria, encompassing New Mexico, Arizona, and northern Mexico. From a young age, she diverged from traditional gender roles, preferring to spend her time alongside her brother Victorio. By the age of seven, she was skilled in horse riding, surpassing many men in speed. Under her brother's guidance, she mastered various weapons such as war clubs, spears, bows, and rifles. During her womanhood ceremony, despite receiving offers of courtship, she declared her intention never to marry. Instead, she embraced the challenges of becoming a dikohe, or warrior in training, which she successfully completed. Recognizing her prowess, the council accepted her as a full-fledged warrior. She delved into the study of medicine, gaining expertise as a respected medicine woman renowned for her deep understanding of the healing properties of plants and minerals. By the age of 20, she had honed her skills in horse theft, earning her the moniker Lozen, signifying her adeptness in the art of horse thievery. While fighting alongside her brother and fellow warriors, she actively participated in warrior ceremonies and often attended council meetings. Riding with the warriors, she was said to possess a unique ability to sense the movements of their enemies. To harness this gift, she engaged in a ritual where she sang, extended her arms, and rotated in a circle until her palms tingled, indicating the direction of the approaching threat. Equipped with this foresight, Lozen aided her people in evading capture. She was not alone in her role as a female warrior. Da Teste, a member of the Chokanen band of the Chiricahua Apache, frequently accompanied Lozen on raids. Victorio assembled a group of around 300 Eastern Chiricahua and Mescalero individuals and launched retaliatory actions against the army. Military officers who faced Victorio recognized him as a skilled strategist and an adept leader. However, by 1869, Victorio and his followers were forced out of their territories west of New Mexico's Black Mountain, subdued, and persuaded to relocate to a new reservation near Ojo Caliente, New Mexico. Initially settled near Fort Craig, New Mexico, in 1869, they awaited the reservation's completion. However, they were subsequently relocated to the dire conditions of the San Carlos Reservation in Arizona. In 1877, Lozen accompanied her brother in leading 300 warriors, women, and children back to their homeland in Ojo Caliente, New Mexico. The army swiftly attempted to repel them, prompting the warriors, Lozen included, to engage in marauding and raiding while avoiding capture by the military. While Victorio and his warriors confronted the cavalry, Lozen guided the women and children ahead. The women and children hesitated to cross the turbulent Rio Grande, but upon Lozen's lead, they followed her into the raging river without delay. When they reached the far river bank, Lozen spoke to James K. Wykla's grandmother, instructing her, You take charge now, I must return to the warriors. Later in Victorio's campaign, Lozen departed from the group to accompany a new mother and her newborn baby across the Chihuahuan Desert from Mexico to the Mescalero Reservation. Armed with only a rifle, a cartridge belt, a knife, and a three-day food supply, they journeyed through territory patrolled by Mexican and U.S. cavalry forces. Lozen used her knife to silently kill a Longhorn, fearing that a gunshot would give away their presence. Afterward, she procured a Mexican cavalry horse for the new mother, making a daring escape amidst a hail of gunfire. Lozen then took a vaquero's horse for herself and seized a soldier's saddle rifle, ammunition, blanket, canteen, and even his shirt. Eventually, she safely delivered her charges to the reservation. Two years later, most of the Apache were relocated to another reservation, but Victorio and his warriors persisted in their resistance against their oppressors. In 1880, Victorio met his demise in the Battle of Tres Castillos in northeastern Chihuahua. Legend has it, that rather than face capture by the Mexicans, he chose to fall on his own knife. Recognizing that the survivors would rely on her, Lozen promptly departed from the Mescalero Reservation 
and embarked on a solitary journey southwest across the desert. Skillfully navigating through the patrols of both the U.S. and Mexican military, she reunited with the depleted band in the Sierra Madre Mountains of northwestern Chihuahua under the leadership of the 74-year-old patriarch, Nana. Alongside a small group of warriors, Lozen initiated retaliatory raids across New Mexico and Arizona. In due course, Lozen and her warriors united with renowned Apache war chief Geronimo during the final phase of the Apache Wars. Lozen, alongside another female warrior named Datest, took on the task of negotiating peace treaties. Among the terms they proposed was that Apache leaders would only face imprisonment for two years before being released. Despite the rejection of the peace treaty by American leaders, Lozen and Dateste persisted in their negotiations. Meanwhile, the Apache rebels persisted in their resistance until they learned that the Chiricahua had been captured and relocated to Florida. In 1886, Geronimo and his followers decided to surrender and gave up their weapons. Just five days later, Geronimo, Lozen, Dateste, and the other warriors found themselves on a train headed to a swampy prisoner camp in Florida. Afterward, Lozen was transported as a prisoner of war to Mount Vernon Barracks in Alabama. Like numerous other incarcerated Apache warriors, she passed away from tuberculosis while in confinement on June 17, 1889. It's believed that she was laid to rest in an unmarked grave in Alabama. <laughs>